Now we're going to use the probability rules in answering some probability questions for this worksheet. So let's go ahead and start problem number one. In problem number one, we are given a table of uh, people asked about their first language in Canada. So these are the languages listed in the table. We have English, French, Asia Pacific, and others. And the probability or the percentages of people having English as their mother tongue is 0.63, French is 0.22, Asian Pacific is 0 0.06, and others is the question mark. On the first problem, we need to find what we can replace the question mark in this probability model. And we know that a legitimate probability model should equal to 1. So if we're going to find the question mark, we are simply going to add 0 0.63, 0 0.22, and 0 0.06. And whatever the sum is for this probability, we will subtract it from 1 because our table or the probability model should total 1. And that missing piece of our table is what we're looking for. And using our calculator, it will give us 0 0.09. And that would be the percentage or the question mark in this probability model. And now that we have a complete table, we can now answer the probability for problem letter B, which is the probability that a Canadian's mother tongue is not English. So the probability that it's not English is basically using the rule of complements in probability and we know that the probability of English is 0.63 so to find its complement it's simply 1 minus the probability of English as the mother tongue so it will be 1 minus 0.63 and 1 minus 0.63 is 37 so the probability that a person's mother tongue is not English is going to be 0.37 or 37%. And for problem letter C, what's the probability the Canadian's mother tongue is a long language other than English or French? So this is another example of a complement and we're looking for the complement of English or French. So we are going to find the complement or 1 minus the probability of English and the probability of a French language as its mother tongue. So we have 1 minus English is 0 0.63 plus French is 0 0.22. So its probability is going to be equal to 0.22. 15. And that's how we use the probability rules in answering the first experiment or problem in our worksheet. Now for the second worksheet or second question in the worksheet, we are given the model for young adults and their education. So here we have point 13 as a person who did not complete high school. Point 29 has a high school diploma and point 30 bachelor's degree. So we have three distribution here so let's organize it in table form just like what we have here at the top. So we can have point 13 for did not complete high school. And in this case, it's point 13. And then the other one would be a high school diploma, which is 29%. And no further educate our bachelor's degree is point 30. Now, we are missing. Um, a probability here because if we use our calculator and add 13 29 and 30 percent 13 
or 0 0.13 plus 0 0.29 plus 0.30, it will only equal 2.72. And for a probability model to be a legitimate probability model, it needs to equal to 1. So the complement of that would be 1 minus 0 0.72, which is equal to 28 or 0.28. So the missing category here is at point 28. So now that we have a legitimate probability model, let's answer the first probability question, which is the probability that the randomly selected adult has some education beyond high school, but did not complete bachelor's degree. So in this case, bachelor's degree is 30%, high school diploma is 29%, not completed high school is 13%. And in this case, we're looking for a person who has some education beyond high school, so not this and not this, and doesn't have a bachelor's degree either, so also not this. So that means the probability of problem letter A is simply the question mark, which is 0.28, because this 28% is neither high school diploma or bachelor's degree so this one is a person beyond high school so finished high school but not the bachelor's degree so that will be 28 percent so most likely the 28 percent is people who did not finish their bachelor's degree or just finish their associate's degree so for letter b we need to find the probability that a randomly chosen young adult has at least high school education so the probability of at least high school education so this one did not complete high school this one is a high school diploma and this one is a bachelor's degree so a minimum of high school diploma is 0.29 bachelor's degree is the highest um, education achievement is 0.30 and this one is beyond high school which is 28 percent so to find the probability of this it is simply going to be 0.29 plus 0.30 plus 0.28 and this will equal 2.87 which is basic basically the complement of a person not completing high school. So this one is another representation of that probability question. And for problem number three, we're now going to be using a different experiment. And this experiment is on playing a standard deck of cards. So in a standard deck of cards, there are four suits with 13 cards each. And to answer the first probability question, we need to find the probability of getting a diamond and a red card. So the probability of getting a diamond and is multiplication and the probability of red. So we're going to multiply the two probabilities and the first probability, a diamond is a suit. So there are 13 out of 52 diamond cards in a standard deck of cards. And we will multiply it to the red card, which is half of 52, which is 26 out of 52. And if we multiply this, 13 over 52 times 26 over 52, again, by using the calculator, we'll be able to produce 0 0.1153. And that's for the first question. And for the second question, we need to find the probability of getting a 2 or a black card and or operation requires us to add the two probabilities for independent events and these are independent events so the probability of two plus the probability of a black card is going to be the probability of getting a two is four out of 52 so we have four out of 52 added to the probability of getting a black card which is 26 out of 52. So using the calculator and changing it into decimal form this will give us 0.5769 and that's the probability of getting a 2 or a black card. Now on the Sec third probability, this one is probability of dependent events because the first card that you should pick is a king 
and then when you pick another card it should also be a king without replacement so when you pick a card it's a king and then you set it aside and you pick another card and it is another king and what's the probability that it will ha happen so the probability of getting the first king is going to be 4 out of 52 because there are four kings in a standard deck of cards of 52 but since you pick a card provided that you already picked the king now your sample space and the number of cards will change so it will now be 3 out of 51 so by multiplying the two probabilities it will give us 0 0.0045 so the probability that it will happen is less than 1% and for the probability of not getting a face card so we know that the face card is a king queen and jack so there are three face cards out of the four suits so it will be three times four so the probability of get, getting a face card is 12 so all we need to do is to find the probability of the complement of getting a face card so it's 1 minus 12 out of 52 or the complement of getting a face card and that would equal 2.7692 so that's problem letter E and for problem letter I mean that's problem letter D and for the last problem letter E what's the probability of getting an even number cards so the even number cards in a standard deck of cards would be 2 4 6 8 and 10 so there are five even numbers and there are four suits so the probability of getting an even number cards would be 20 out of 52 because there are 20 even number cards out of the 52 is 0.3842 six and this is the probability of getting or the probability of some events in a standard deck of cards